Hello everyone and welcome to The Prairie. This is Matt from In Defense of Plants and today we're doing something very special. We are helping out with a prescribed burn. So come on, join us for an interesting adventure. The tall grass prairie is a fire adapted ecosystem. It absolutely requires it to thrive. Fire not only unlocks precious nutrients, it limits competition, especially of woody vegetation that would otherwise shade out these sun-loving plants. As such, restoration practitioners use it now as a useful tool to restore prairies like this one and make them more diverse ecosystems that can support more wildlife. Fires were once a common occurrence on the prairie. They were either set naturally by things like lightning or artificially by the Native Americans. However, when Europeans settled this continent, they saw fire as a destructive menacing force that needed to be stopped. For centuries or more, fire was sequestered in these habitats, and aside from outright destruction and plowing, the prairie suffered massively from a sequestration of their normal fire regime. Today, we're changing our minds about fire in new ways, and we're using it more and more as a tool to help restore ecosystems like this. Without a fire, this fallow field would quickly become a woodlot of largely invasive shrubs and trees. With fire, however, we can coax this habitat back into something resembling a natural prairie ecosystem. It's a wonderful thing, and you're gonna see some incredible shots today. So that may seem really intense, and indeed it is. It's killing a lot of things that are above ground, especially woody stuff, but soil is an excellent insulator. I'm scraping away this ash and everything is still wet. And most importantly, most of the plants you'll see in a prairie have growth tips and can re-sprout from vegetative parts underneath the soils. So they're really just kind of regenerating after all the competition has been cleared. So some grasses are so well adapted to fire that they actually release volatile compounds that cause the fire to burn way hotter, and in doing so, limiting even more competition that could otherwise shade them out. It's pretty intense to stand here. In fact, I feel like my face is burning off a little bit, not to mention the smoke is really getting in my eyes. 